Xavier Raton Mays scored 30, Monte Brandon added 17 as Florida State survived a crazy late game comeback by Clemson to defeat the Tigers to advance to the quarterfinals. Man, it was, we shouldn't have even put ourselves in that position. We, uh, we didn't do a good job of handling pressure down the stretch. We turned it over a couple times and uh, we, we missed a couple key free throws. And, um, we, we just got to be better at that. It's pretty messed up, to be honest. Uh, we kind of missed a couple key free throws and they hit some really big shots. And, uh, you know, it's just not the way we want to end it, but I mean, a win's a win. So I think we're just glad to have that and just be able to advance for tomorrow. To give them credit, they knocked down some, some threes that they have not been accustomed to knocking them down. Because we missed some key free throws. Uh, down the stretch there. Uh, but, but over, overall, uh, I got to take the pauses from the game. I thought the guys defended very well. We were moving the basketball and we were getting good shots. They um, they were able, they tried to black us on ball screens and uh, hold us to one side. Our bigs did a really good job of slipping and uh, booking. A couple of other guys did a, couple, a really good job of knocking down shots. I think that was like the key for coming out of halftime is like the, the team that's going to come out with the most energy and focus and determination is going to end up winning the game. And so we wanted to make sure we put an emphasis on that when we're starting off the uh, first four minutes of the second half. So, uh, you know, we just executed what we needed to do and got a, a lead and extended it. Well, we just got to take the victory and learn from uh, some of the mistakes we made and move on. We can't let that linger because we got a very challenging uh, game ahead of us for the moment. Virginia does a really good job of uh, controlling the pace of the game, and slowing things down. And, uh, we just gotta, we just gotta know how to control ourselves and um, be efficient offensively, and then uh, do a really good job on defense as well. Florida State's win also means that head coach Leonard Hamilton is tied for the winningest coach in Florida State history with 246 wins. The Seminoles will now take on top seeded and third ranked Virginia tomorrow at noon right here in the Greensboro Coliseum. And of course, Seminoles.com will have all of your coverage throughout the ACC tournament. That'll wrap up things from a wild one. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.